people. Now, earlier this week, President Trump said he was willing to wait until after the 2020 presidential election to get Congress to vote on a new health care plan, giving Republicans time to develop a proposal to replace Obamacare. Joining us on the Kogo News Live Line, health care expert Seth Denson. And the Republicans were in control of both chambers for years. Why did they not come up with something? Well, I think there's a couple of things and a lot of theories on how long as your show. Uh, but the Republicans, the, the primary challenge I think the pro- Republicans had, they couldn't come together because they were so fragmented on the Affordable Care Act. They spent most of their time uh, talking about the Affordable Care Act and not about what they could do in lieu of the Affordable Care Act. And that still is the challenge they have today. So is punting until after the election a good move? Well, I think the the challenge that Republicans have now is this is now back on the top of the headlines. And, you know, for years, the Republicans did really well in elections talking against the ACA. Well, then they get the power and then they can't do anything about the ACA. They can't come together and do anything. And what we saw in the 2018 midterms were that Democrats pounced on that opportunity and brought back up health care. And, and so um, the Democrats did very well on health care after not doing so well after the passage of the Affordable Care Act. So the Democrats now will make this an issue. The Republicans are not going to have the luxury of really punting. Now, don't get me wrong. There's no nothing that they can really do until after the election because there's not a chance that Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats are going to let, allow anything to go through the House. But that said, the Republicans now have to own this. They need to come up with a plan, and they have to go sell it to Americans before we get in too deep into the 2020 election. So now, taking a look at health care itself, it is not affordable uh, for most people. It is an absolute mess. So what needs to happen to actually fix it, not just politically, f- fix it? That's a great question, right? So the problem with the Affordable Care Act was it focused on one piece of the health care puzzle, which was the financing mechanism or insurance, how most Americans access the system. But it's the same as me saying, hey, you have some really bad spending habits, so I'm going to solve it by lowering your interest rate on your credit card. It doesn't do anything about your spending habits, right? And so what we need to do with health care is actually drive down the cost of delivering health care into the system. And I'll tell you, the Trump administration, under uh, the leadership of Health and Human Services uh, Secretary Alex Azar, has really started doing some good things, infusing transparency into the system, going after prescription drugs. You must lower the cost of the delivery system of health care if you want insurance premiums to go down. The Affordable Care Act, we hear all the time, never lose the forest for the trees. The Affordable Care Act focused on the tree, and in lieu, we missed the forest, which is the driving cost of health care. We've got to drive that down, and that's what Republicans need to focus on. Yeah, but Seth, is anybody going to get this right? I mean, no, it's such a complicated issue. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. Is anybody, I mean, when you tackle health care, you are tackling something, I mean, the, the biggest bear out there. I, I just can't Insurance even, companies. Insurance companies. I mean, you've got doctors, you've got lobbyists. How do you even begin, and how can you make everybody happy? I'm assuming you can't. Well, it, it's going to be virtually impossible to make everybody happy, especially when you're talking about a sixth of the U.S. economy. And you have to, you've got a delicate balance here, right? You, you can't tip over the apple cart so much that it crashes the economy. You've got millions of jobs at stake here. So here's what needs to happen, though. They need to get, take the crawl, walk, run methodology. We have a free market capitalistic system where the consumer has the ability to move the market delicately. You've got to get the power back in the consumer's hands by using transparency. If there's one key thing we can do is bring transparency into the health care system, and that's what needs to be focused on. But I'll tell you what Republicans need to do. They need to stop just talking to doctors and stop just talking to insurance companies. They need to talk to everybody involved in this and really come up with a comprehensive plan. All right, yeah. Seth Denson, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.